Hi friends, this is Laura, aka Lulu Sketches. In case you're new here, I am a visual development artist in the animation industry. I promised you guys I would do a couple speed paints and my last video was a Procreate speed paint where I painted on my iPad. So for today's video, I'm going to do a Photoshop speed paint with my trusty Cintiq 22 HD. But to mix things up, I'm going to do a Q&A during the speed paint. We're gonna, we're gonna multitask today. You guys sent me your questions over on Instagram. I did one of those ask me anything Instagram stories. In case you missed that and you want to participate in the next Q&A, make sure to follow my Instagram, Lulu Sketches. That's also where I post all of my artwork. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. You guys know I only work with brands that I personally use and love, and I've been using Squarespace for my professional art portfolio for over a year now. I'll tell you guys more about that later in the video, but for now, let's get this Q&A slash speed paint started. First question, what's your career goal? What's your plan to get there? I am a visual development artist, which was my career goal for a long time, and I finally reached that, so I'm just enjoying it right now. I think eventually I'll want to art direct and then be a production designer on feature films. Uh, did you ever have another career you pursued before becoming an artist? No, um, before becoming an artist, I was just a student. Did your husband move with you from Virginia to California or did you do long distance first? So actually after college, I moved to France and my husband moved to London and he was there for two years and I was in France for one year and then I moved out to LA. So we did do long distance and I was all the way in Los Angeles and he was all the way in London for a year. And the year before that was still long distance too because I was in France and he was in England. Do you have siblings? Are they artists too? Um, I have a brother and he is not an artist. Your thoughts on Frozen 2? I thought the visual effects were absolutely fantastic. I mean, you could see just how big the budget was for Frozen 2. I thought it was really beautiful. I really enjoyed Frozen 2. Uh, why don't you sell prints of your artwork? <laughs> Okay, so, well, I actually do sell prints of my artwork, but I just don't do it that often. I sell prints at conventions once a year, but obviously this year all the conventions were canceled. So on occasion, I'll sell my prints online, but it's a lot of work to actually pack all those prints and mail them out all by myself. So I don't do it that often. <laughs> and I only put them up for sale for like a week at a time because I can't handle any more orders than that. So I haven't sold any prints or books this year and I do have a handful of books left. So I will put those on sale eventually and I will make that announcement over on Twitter. So just make sure to follow me. My account name is Lulu Draws because Lulu Sketches was taken. Next question, is being self-taught as accepted as formal schooling for animation work? Uh, definitely, most people don't ask where you went to school or really even look at your resume much. They just wanna see your portfolio and know your experience in the industry. Nobody really cares where you went to school. Animes you're watching currently. Oh, okay, I just watched one, it's on Netflix. It's called Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun and I am obsessed with it. What do background painters do when a piece of the background is animated, like a door that opens, for example? So when I was a background painter, there would be separate groups of layers called overlays. This might be like an open door or a button that gets pushed, something that's part of the background that moves. So we'd have to paint two versions of the background and put them on separate layers. So I'd paint the closed door and then I'd paint the open door and then the animators would have both of those to animate between. Do you ever suffer from imposter syndrome? Yes, all the time. Did you always wanna be an artist or did you have a different career dream? I always wanted to be an artist. Um, how do you deal with adapting your art style to the style of the show or movie you're working on? Well, as soon as you start on a new show or a feature, you will meet with the art director or your production designer and they're going to explain the style to you. I find adapting to styles kind of a fun challenge at work. What is your favorite DreamWorks movie? My favorite DreamWorks movie is How to Train Your Dragon. How did you meet your husband? Uh, we met in college. Besides digital, do you like using traditional paint on canvas? If so, what kind of paint? 
Oh yeah, absolutely. So I started as a traditional painter before digital painting, acrylics, oils, watercolors, and gouache. How do you balance working from home and spending time with family also at home? Uh, not well. I don't do that well. I work way too much and uh, I don't have any good advice for that. <laughs> when drawing backgrounds, do you make perspective grids or do you just eyeball it? For me, when making that first sketch, I don't worry about perspective at all. I worry most about the composition and the flow. And once I'm happier with the way the composition is going, then I'll add in perspective lines later, check things out, make sure things are correct. Is there a preference in the industry between physical or digital portfolios? Yes, definitely have a digital portfolio. Studios don't even wanna deal with physical portfolios anymore. So just make sure to have your portfolio online. Speaking of having an online portfolio, as I mentioned before, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. On my first day at my current job at Paramount, I met the other two visual development artists and I checked out their portfolios. And guess what? They both also use Squarespace. I wasn't even surprised because Squarespace portfolios look fly as hell and I think we can all agree on that. Besides looking beautiful, Squarespace websites are clean and easy to navigate for employers looking through your portfolio. Plus, the templates look good whether they're viewed on a desktop or mobile device because you never know what device someone's gonna use to look at your portfolio. And if you've heard me talk about Squarespace before, you probably know my favorite part, automatic image scaling. My paintings automatically fit together like a puzzle regardless of the random ass sizes of my paint files. On my portfolio, you have the option to scroll through these auto-scaled images or you can click on one and view them larger one at a time. I love that about the template, it's really convenient. I have a discount for you guys to start your own Squarespace portfolio Portfolios. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Laura Price for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now back to the speed paint slash Q&A. Crunchy or smooth peanut butter? Crunchy. What's your favorite drawing style to look at but not do yourself? Oh, definitely manga. Favorite game? Basically any Zelda game, I've played every Zelda game. Maybe Ocarina of Time, just because I'm very nostalgic about it. Which Disney character do you identify with the most? Uh, probably Rapunzel from Tangled. She's an artist with big dreams. Oh, who's your favorite member of the Fellowship in Lord of the Rings? I've never read or seen the Lord of the Rings movies, so. One artist you'd love to meet and learn from. Probably Hayao Miyazaki. Are you doing Inktober? No. <laughs> I find Inktober very stressful. Um, I did Inktober the first year it happened. I did all 31 days and I haven't done it since. Do you have a favorite movie composer? Yes, my favorite movie composer is Alexandre Desplat. He is my favorite composer who wrote music for the Harry Potter films, and he is the composer on Twilight New Moon. I love the score of that movie, and I love the music he wrote for Harry Potter. If you weren't working in animation, what would you be? I would probably be working in video games. Are you going to pitch again? No, I'm not planning on pitching again. It was so much work and I think even if a studio did pick up my idea and developed it for two years or whatever and then it didn't get greenlit and it just got trashed, I just think that that would just be heartbreaking for me. You're taking a huge leap when you develop a whole show, when there's a chance the studio will just change their mind or change what they want or change what age group it's made for or completely change the story on you. What would you do if you weren't an artist? I would probably work in fashion or I would work with dogs in some way or I would flip houses. I'm very into home renovations. How hard is it working on animated shows? Is it super stressful? Working on TV shows is definitely hard. You have to be able to work quickly, but if you're a really hard worker and you enjoy what you're doing, then it's really fun. A video game soundtrack that makes you overthink life. Basically all the Zelda video game soundtracks. I actually went and saw a full orchestra performance of music from the Zelda video games and it was incredible. It definitely makes me overthink life. <laughs> Are you enjoying your new job? Yes, I am. It is great. I love my new job. What are your favorite musical artists or bands? 
the Postal Service, Andrew McMahon solo or in Jack's Mannequin or something corporate, Third Eye Blind, Blink-182, Glass Animals, Passion Pit, Childish Gambino, Churches, Purity Ring, Two Door Cinema Club, and I'm probably forgetting a ton of my other favorites. Do you have any secret tips for consistent slash clean line art? My number one tip for clean line art is just to zoom in a lot on your canvas when you're drawing, because when you zoom out, everything looks way cleaner. What's a place you wish you could visit right now? I was just looking at pictures of my honeymoon in Greece. I definitely wish I could go back to Santorini right now. What do you do when you hit an artist block? How do you handle it when you don't really feel like creating? I guess I don't really experience art blocks. For me, I have a huge list of things that I want to create and I'm just worried that I won't have enough time to create all of my ideas. So yeah, I guess I don't really experience art block. I do experience burnout, just being completely exhausted. And in that case, I need to just step away and make myself take a break. And I try to remember that work isn't everything. Favorite Twilight character, <sighs> uh, Edward Cullen. Pancakes or waffles? Oh, this is like a really, okay. This is a very serious question. If they're frozen, I'm going waffles all the way, Eggo waffles. Or if they're freshly made, I'm gonna go with pancakes. Personally, my favorite food is French toast. So if that were on the list, that would be the answer. But this is between pancakes and waffles, so I'm living myself here. What do you feel about month-long challenges like Inktober and other prompt lists? I feel like they're really good for beginner artists. It creates accountability and it creates community. You can find other artists doing the same challenge as you. So I think that's really cool. I used to do more prompt lists when I was starting out. Since starting in the industry, my time is very limited. And so I'd much rather draw my own ideas than someone else's ideas. Are you still working on personal projects slash art that you can share? Oh yes, I mean, this speed paint is personal art that I can share, but um, I'm still working on personal projects, yes. What's your favorite concept art ever for a film? My top two for favorite concept art ever for a film would have to be The Crudes and Spider-Verse. What's better for doing art, working on a Cintiq or a tablet? There's no difference. Working on a Cintiq doesn't make your art any better. There's actually a bit of a learning curve when you first go from a tablet to a Cintiq because it's not natural at first and it's not like drawing on a piece of paper. For a long time, I really preferred drawing on a tablet. Which feature movie are you working on right now? I'm working on a movie called Tiger's Apprentice at Paramount. What's the highest number of layers you've used in a Photoshop painting and did it crash your computer? <laughs> That's a good question. My largest paintings, I've gone up to like 500 layers. I've never really gone above that and it did slow down my computer considerably. But what really slows down my computer is things like adjustment layers. So as long as I didn't use like a bunch of adjustment layers or something, then it should be working okay. <laughs> Do you take a sketchbook wherever you go? No, I don't. <laughs> I find when I bring my sketchbook that I pay way more attention to my drawing than the people I'm with. So I try not to do that. So unless I'm specifically going out with friends to draw, I try to not bring my sketchbook. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this speed paint slash Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry if I didn't get to your question. I'll definitely do another Q&A in the future. If you enjoyed the whole speed paint slash Q&A, maybe I can do another one in the future. Just let me know. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you enjoyed it. Also, if you wanna send questions for the next Q&A, make sure to follow my Instagram, Lulu Sketches. And if you enjoy my videos in general and wanna support the channel, make sure to subscribe. That's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Has my mic been in this the whole time? <gasps> Idiot. Hey! This is fine. <laughs>